Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're enjoying the videos, please consider subscribing. So in today's video, we are going to go through and share all of the corn snakes from the first clutch and try attempt to feed them. Uh, if you can't tell, the water's gross. The, they just tend to make a mess. I'm also going to try and get some uh, photos of them to share with everyone, put them up on Instagram. I start and my water is way out of reach. So this first one is an extreme reverse Okatee. We're gonna be giving all of these guys um, new paper towels. We're just gonna try a tone real quick, see what it thinks. And it's gonna run away. <laughs> Don't bite me. Oh. So, this guy is angry. So all we're gonna do with this and this is kind of what I expect to happen with most of them because they just, they're unsure. And also a little bit angry. <laughs> we're gonna take, we're gonna give them their paper towel right directly on top of them, give them their security blanket back, drop their water in, would you quit biting me? It doesn't hurt. And put our lid back on. Ultimately, I don't expect a lot of these to eat right out of the box, but we do need to give it a try. Um, I do try and feed them before messing with anything, just because it's you try and be just a little less uh, intrusive, but some of them, like this one, like to mess, make a mess out of everything. So once again, we'll just stick that there, see what it does. That's my bad for interrupting. So if you can't tell, this is kind of a slow process. You're trying to introduce food for the first time. You're trying to clean up and get them clean so that way they have a nice clean environment. 
And also, you know, they probably have dumped out their water dish, so they need fresh water. So I really try not to bother them too much. Put the food in, cover them up, clean up what's necessary, and move on. That last one was an Extreme Reverse Okati Tessera. This one is an Extreme Reverse Okati. Yet another mess. Garbage can open so I can just throw these things away. Yet another angry noodle, taken after their mom. All right, so once again, we tried. That flat, angry head. Grab a quick picture. You may be thinking to yourself, what in the world? He's just, this is um, the method I typically go after, which is just the drop method. Um, I put it in, leave it alone, come back later that day or the next day, and uh, remove anything that might be left over. I don't, uh, I don't really sit and harass the snake. I don't think it's very productive. Um, I do, have a somewhat low tolerance for uh, not eating at all, in which case I um, do assist feed, and I'll assist feed until uh, they start eating, or some other internal condition that I'm unaware of um, takes them. But no snake that I've ever lost that has been that has actually been born has ever died from malnutrition. It's always been some other uh, kind of issue. This thing would strike outside of its uh, enclosure. Right now it's so cold up.
All right, there's our first five. I need another roll of paper towels and um, I'll be right back with the next five. All right, everyone, here we are back. Um, have paper towels and getting ready to, or continuing to work on trying to get these babies to eat. Again, I use the drop method. I really try not to stress them out too much. I'll try tongs just to see if they might take it, but typically, especially on the first meal, they don't. So I don't force the issue. I just drop it off and move on to the next. Let's get a good picture here. We are off to the next one. You'll notice a lot of these guys, like I've said, make a mess. And I just come in on feeding day and clean them up. Try not to make a big deal out of it. Try not to overly stress them out. I'm just the janitor. hoping that I end up getting at least one of these guys on camera eating, but I'm, I'm not holding my breath, at least not for this first time. Over time, as they get more comfortable eating and get, get, the, get an idea of what they're actually supposed to do when they eat, that's when I will expect more, expect to see more, I guess you could say action on the camera. For now, we're just doing maintenance. Don't forget we also have the bull snakes and loud children in the background. So we'll be doing the bull snakes before long as well, probably uh, either at the end of this video or in the next video, depending on how it goes. And this is the first time I've done this in about a year. So I'm getting back in the groove of turning these over pretty quickly, disturbing them less and giving them an opportunity to just be snakes, realize what they're supposed to do and let them eat. Being a little bit patient right now, just in case this one decides to eat. It's not looking like it. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that down. Put the lid back on. I could spend a lot of time cleaning up the lids, drying everything out, but all that's gonna do is stress out the baby for its first feed. And it just makes things more difficult down the line. At least to me it does. Oh, 
Made a mess on myself. So I am making sure that they have clean water. It's one thing if their uh, enclosure is a little bit wet. It's another thing if they are drinking water with poop in it. And that's not allowed. All right, here we are on our last of the this batch of babies. Super cute, extreme reverse Okatee Tessera. Excuse the interruption. Family comes first always. We're gonna get this guy a fresh, fresh paper towel and some water, and then we'll be moving on to the bull snakes. everyone here we go with our bull snakes just like our corns though I do expect to see a little bit more from them as far as eating we're mainly just cleaning things up getting rid of the shed Let's see if I can get down and find my tweezers just feeding frozen thawed And unlike the corn snakes, bull snakes have a much better appetite. So you guys sit back and enjoy. I'm going to let you enjoy it. This was nice and quick, just like I expected. If anything, it's looking at me for more. So we're gonna toss a paper towel in here. If you're wondering why I just throw the paper towel on top, they make a huge mess out of the paper towels within the first day or so. They can get in around them. They have no issues with it. So I just 
let them, I just leave it on them and let them have their fun. I'm also going to label this one because I haven't labeled any of the, uh, I haven't labeled the, uh, the bulls yet. This guy, if you're curious, is B1-1-21. And that symbolizes bull snake clutch one, snake one, 2021. Here we are with bull snake two. And keep in mind, none of these snakes I have sexed. I have no idea what they are. I plan to be doing so in the near future, but I wanted to get a meal into them first. So here we go with bull snake number two. Didn't mean to drop that. Guess sitting the tongs down bothered it too much. having trouble figuring things out. Let's try one more time. We haven't made it angry yet, so I'm not too worried. The, the corns are a bit jumpier than the bull snakes are. Alright, so we're just going to leave that. it doesn't seem to be sure of what to think. The water still looks good on this one. Here we are with bull snake number three.
That went down nice and fast to the point that I don't even have a couple minutes to, to read. So cover that up. Drop that in. This again is bull snake number three. And bull snake number four seems to be the special snowflake. I think this is the second time I've done this or had to had to empty all the water out of here. Definitely shed, definitely pooped. Just like last time, I'm going to grab a clean tub. I'll go wash that one. One of these bull snakes does have a kink in its tail. It, it happens sometimes in, during incubation. But since the bull snake is in its bowl, let me give you guys a good shot of the bowl. We'll see if it'll lead in the bowl. Oh, good grief. They always make me jump when they first, when they first go to hissing. It doesn't actually bother me that they hiss or strike. It's just that sudden noise always makes me jump. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. If you're going to fuss, get out of the, out of the bowl. give it a minute and if it doesn't decide to uh, pay attention we'll get it out of the bowl and give it some water. Matter of fact, why don't we just go ahead and do that. Yes, number four is the kink tail. It has just a tiny little kink on the tip of its tail. If you're wondering, I'm not trying to drown the snake. In case it's dehydrated, want some water, it can drink before it leaves. You seem to not care. Probably gonna, nope, not gonna bite me. Yes, yes, yes. It's a good strike. But you're supposed to wrap it up. All right. All right, everyone. With an angry bull snake, that's it for today. That's all the babies that have shed out. Hope you enjoyed it. I know this is a pretty long one, but this is 14 snakes and it's just a process to get through them all. Have a great day. Bye.